Hello everyone, uh, my name is Biplab Bandari and I'm the data scientist with the Science Coordination Office here at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. And this is the part two of our <coughs> uh, training uh, video on the rice mapping in Bhutan. So in part one, we looked at how we can set up the uh, Google Earth Engine account and how we can enable the cloud uh, services on it uh, and once we set up the GCP on the uh, end we were redirected to the Earth Engine uh, interface which I'll discuss here in a bit uh, so today in this video we'll uh, get familiar with the Earth Engine and its interface uh, we'll also uh, get to know how to get uh, the tools the a rice mapping a uh, tool in uh, in your uh, earth engine account and then uh, we'll also talk a little bit about the folder structures uh, so i'll try to keep these videos uh, short uh, and uh, make videos on uh, module and module basis so uh, so if you go here when you were redirected here you'd see uh, an interface similar to this all right, so mm, you have uh, what you have here is uh, you have your mm, a tab over here which has scripts, documents, and the assets. You probably don't have anything here uh, if you are new to the Earth Engine, but if you have already played around, you probably have something over here where you should uh, already have uh, loaded uh, examples over here. <coughs> And then in the middle is where you would write your script. So we'll start with the hello world here. Uh, and you can run your script by uh, clicking this button over here. Uh, that the code run uh, will be displayed here in the console. Uh, over the console, you have tags. When you are trying to export something, you can uh, run a tax. So that's uh, over here. And then you also can see the inspector button here. Uh, so mm, let's, uh, uh, there are also, uh, there's also uh, this uh, map viewer here, which uh, is an important one. So whenever you run some sort of analysis, you can. Uh, see the output over here in fact let's uh, run uh, a example here let's go to a, a user interface and try to run something here uh, when you run this the output the visual output of the image is shown over here in this window so uh, here you can uh, you know toggle on and off and all these features are here uh, similar to a traditional uh, GIS environment uh, the <coughs> over here is where it's very similar to a uh, Google Maps where you can just search for places. So let's search for Bhutan. Uh, and then and this is also the place where you can search for the data sets that's inside the Earth Engine. So Earth Engine already comes um, loaded with different kind of uh, data sets. Uh, let's um, go and search for uh, Landsat data sets, so there are lots of Landsat data sets that's inside here. Uh, there's Landsat's uh, place, there, these are the uh, raster files, and some of the tables are also there, so you can go and look around. Uh, you can go and look at the catalog, this is the entire data sets that's in the Earth Engine, so you can, you know, <coughs> learn more about these data sets, and some of these data sets m might also come with. Uh, preloaded example for example if you click on one of that data sets there's an option you can open on the browser so that's that uh, let's go ahead in the slide and yeah and one more thing that I want to emphasize is if you're new uh, if you click over here there is a developers discussion group so if you have any kind of problem you're trying to uh, run some code and it's not working then probably someone already has that problem and it should be on the uh, 
Google group. So for that, if you have just signed up, again, you don't have permission to access, but you can easily join it. So I'm going to do every a new message, and I'm just going to join the group. So once you join the group, there are a lot of uh, conversation that's happening over here. You know, any public announcement, uh, for example, the upcoming Geo for Good event that's going to happen. Uh, all this, um, you know, some announcement as well as the uh, technical questions you can find. So I highly recommend you joining the group. And then we also uh, saw the catalog here. Uh, so now let's go ahead and uh, get the uh, rice mapping tool, the ASS, which we've named. So if you go and click there, you should be redirected to the uh, code editor again. I'm just going to close the last one. And <coughs> now if you don't see anything over here, you probably have to refresh. <coughs> And yeah, now we have uh, the uh, loaded uh, tool over here. So, <coughs> so that's the tool um, uh, that has all the things that you need to produce annual maps. Um, ideally, you should only need Earth Engine once you've all set up um, this way. And uh, you can export your results to Drive, which will also show uh, next. Uh, <coughs> So this code is also hosted at the uh, Servier GitHub account uh, as the Act Classification Stimulation. So it, it's the sim same replica of the um, code editor there. Uh, <coughs> yeah, so now we see that mm, these are the file structures uh, that's in the code there so there are just four scripts that you need to run in order to uh, produce the uh, rice cover map uh, so zero one two three these are the four scripts that you need uh, and others are the helper scripts. so next we'll see and uh, try to understand uh, what it, each of these files does uh, but I'll also go in more detail in the uh, other modules so the first uh, step since the ACES uses Sentinel-1 <coughs> as, as other optical imageries uh, like um, Sentinel-2 and Landsat is through this script. Uh, this was the script I was talking about. Uh, that's the script that does it. <coughs> so it pre-processes and downloads the Sentinel-1 images, does all the necessary chain corrections, uh, the next script is the export indices script, which is the second script that will run. That script will uh, prepare indices, <coughs> for example, uh, NDVI, EVI, those kind of indices that uh, that plays uh, a role in determining the uh, rice cover in the in the country. So those kind of indices will uh, export both uh, optical as well as the radar indices in this script. Uh, so now we have all the data sets ready in order to run the model. So the third step is where we will run the model and this is done through this second script which is called the parameterized model. So this, um, this script will perform a grid, uh, gridded parameter search <laughs> to find the best performing model, to find the best tune. We'll analyze the output from this model and then use the best performing uh, parameters in the next script. So third script is where we will use the uh, final set of the um, uh, parameters and then we'll perform independent validation if there are those kind of data sets also available. We'll also do some post-processing in this uh, uh, script. <coughs> So uh, besides that, if you go and look, there are also other scripts that are out there. So these are the helper scripts. <coughs> uh, the way I, I think I probably will have to uh, show the main uh, file. So main file is when you look at the main file, and uh, this main file actually is a proxy, is a router uh, for all the requests coming in. Uh, so it imports all the other modules that are available that does specific work and then combines to 
uh, uh, common uh, namespace. So exports uh, here does that uh, naming space. <coughs> And then the second script, the other script like routine script that performs uh, spatial operation like masking or scaling and uh, converting of the units like DB scale, uh, DB scale conversion, those kind of things in the Sentinel-1 images uh, are also done. <coughs> and the indices is where it produces, all, has all the functions that are needed to produce different kind of indices. <coughs> Sentinel-1 is where, as we talked about, performs the zero terrain correction and also does leaf filtering uh, to bring the backscatter value in a normalized, uh, in, in a normalized value. So, uh, and Sentinel-1 correction is actually very important for uh, uh, rough terrains like Bhutan. Uh, it's not, uh, it, uh, it, it will perform okay in, in flat region, but uh, in, 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 in very rough terrain like Bhutan, uh, Sentinel-1 terrain correction is uh, absolutely needed and uh, um, there are several studies that uh, people have done comparing uh, terrain correction uh, versus non-terrain corrected uh, products. The other script important is the model.js that does the graded parameter search and export the result. It also runs a single random forest model based on the best parameter. And the last uh, is the utils that uh, perform some of the utilities. There is an extra uh, script there called the uh, GUI.js. <coughs> so the GUI.js is the current uh, interface uh, that we have uh, in place. And uh, this interface was actually developed in uh, by while working with the NASA develops summer 2022 uh, cohort. Uh, so you can also check this out.